Hello everyone, this is TD King with MacNet Construction. We've been wanting to do this video for a while uh, just to cover our buildings, what goes into them, and uh, some of the uh, things that are not readily of apparent when you look at a video or look at a picture of the building. The building that we're talking about today is our MacNet Construction's office, which has recently been nominated uh, by Foxblock for the World of Concrete Builder Award, so we hope to win that in January. And I wanted to go over uh, some of the things that we did in our building, uh, which is a lead gold standard building that make it, uh, at least we feel, pretty unique. We used a lot of cutting edge technology. Um, and at first I'll point out that uh, these buildings are not uh, that much more expensive than your standard two by six, two by four building. But uh, they are a lot better in performance. The uh, recent ACI study came out that gave uh, uh, insulated concrete form buildings roughly an R50, which for those of you that are builders know, that's double what you get out of a standard 2x6 wall uh, with thermal bridging. So what that equates to is a lot of savings in energy and um, a lot of savings in your pocketbook and a lot more comfortable, quiet, a home that is going to last quite a bit longer. So a 200 year life wall versus uh, two by six. So, um, you know, good luck. Anyway, the bottom line is these are awesome buildings. They are built to last. They're energy efficient. And the R50 performance characteristics um, that recently came out uh, basically take these buildings, what would equate to, I think in the study, um, about a week and two days, I think it was 338 or 348 hours, I can't remember, uh, as compared to roughly two days of thermal loss in a standard R23 building. So um, a week and two days compared to two days, or two and a half days, something like that. So anyway, it's interesting. They're awesome buildings. So without further delay, let me just launch into uh, what you are looking at. Helix is a twisted steel micro rebar. Helix is added to concrete at the plant and is engineered to allow the engineers to remove rebar that would otherwise be necessary in the concrete walls and floors. On our building, I believe we had roughly 20 pounds of Helix or twisted steel micro rebar in each yard of concrete that went into the walls. That number might be wrong, it might be a little more, a little less, but uh, the bottom line is that the Helix micro rebar has been engineered, um, ISO approved, to allow the structural engineer with um, recommendations from Helix engineer to remove rebar. and. The end result for the builder, for us, is that it reduces the amount of rebar we need to tie in the walls. It almost completely removed all of the horizontal rebar in our building and um, left us with vertical rebars that I believe were, I can't remember, 24 inches on center throughout the wall and then uh, we had extra rebar around openings and windows. So it sped up, uh, bottom line is it, it sped up our construction time significantly and uh, was fairly simple to work with. One uh, negative that we ha experienced, but we had, uh, was very easy to overcome, was adding the helix to the concrete, which is done at the batch plant. Uh, so the concrete plant that we used had not used helix before, and what happened was they were, I believe, dumping the box of helix directly into the already mixed concrete, it was creating balls of helix that were plugging up our hoses and um, giving us problems uh, slowing us down on site so uh, once we overcame that issue uh, talking to helix and then going to the batch plant to uh, educate them on how to to properly mix the helix in to the concrete so that it didn't produce the balls we were home free uh, and it did significantly increase our speed of construction not being or not having to tie the horizontal rebar that would have gone into the um, 
footing and walls and it removed a large majority of that and allowed us to simply pour the concrete into the walls without dealing with the rebar.